Good evening, I'm Terry McFadden. And I'm Lauren Moss. Well, the news is still fresh. Clay High School is closing in the fall of 2024. That's after the South Bend School Board voted on the district's facilities master plan last night that saw Clay get the cut. Marie Katanzaret is live outside the district headquarters with what's next for Clay families, faculty and staff. Maria. Assistant Superintendent Lauren and Terry, Assistant Superintendent Karima Fowler tells us today that they had extra support on hand at Clay High School, which got the cut last night in last night's board meeting vote. Again, that closure not happening this coming school year, but the following school year in the fall of 2024. And a local attorney says it's possible families could file a lawsuit against the district. School board vote to close Clay not even a day old. Assistant Superintendent Karima Fowler speaking to the media on Tuesday. That also includes making sure that we inform the necessary individuals like teachers and, you know, just keeping the lines of communication uh, open uh, with all of our families. Fowler says additional next steps include establishing school boundary line committees this spring in working through the transition team information for Clay High School and for faculty and staff who will have to transfer to different South Bend school buildings. The district says there's an internal process that's been developed in conjunction with the teachers union, but Fowler says how this will exactly play out is too soon to say. When they go into a school, we want to make sure they're the right fit and they're in a place where they feel like they belong. It's kind of like uh, trying to fly an airplane while you're building it, and I think that's that's a dangerous thing. Local attorney Pete Augustino has spoken with Clay families deeply concerned about the school closing, says there are several reasons why families could seek legal action against the district. If they have a transition plan, would, they should have shared it, um, and they didn't. Um, in fact, I don't think one's even referenced in any of the reports that I've seen so far. I'd say yes, we do have a written transition plan in place. Um, and if you go through the Q and A's and you go through the um, you go through the um, facilities recommendations, a lot of the full plan is going to reflect a lot of the information that's already out there. However, um, to really put a plan in place. You really got to have all the stakeholders at the table and, you know, we don't want to get ahead of our board. We don't want to get ahead of our community. And Pete Augustino says reasons why families might sue the South Bend Community Schools regarding the clay closure, including how minority students are impacted, how students with IEPs, learning disabilities, are impacted, as well as students who are involved in extracurricular activities and sports, how they could be impacted by this as well. And we asked Prima Fowler today this at a, a news conference earlier this afternoon, and she says even if the district would face legal action by these Clay High School families, she says that's not going to impact the transition process. Maria Katanzarite reporting live from downtown South Bend tonight. Maria, thanks for the update. And tonight we're learning that threats may have been made online against Clay High School. A parent telling us school officials sent home a letter saying in part they're stepping up security and looking into the credibility of a threat. We're working to learn more about this report, so we'll keep you updated.